Hi. Ooh, it's time for good energy in, though my camera doesn't seem to think that is actually what's going on today. Let me make sure that it that it is. All right. Um, I think so. There we go. That's what was wrong. Okay. Um, hi, it's time for good energy. And I'm Dr. Julie, and welcome to Bodyful Day 352. We are talking about retirement and the senses. So what happens to your senses when you have finished a huge project, like working on a job for a long period of time? Um, how does that affect your senses and how can you use your senses to get yourself back into a group? All right, so before we start, let's go ahead and begin with basics. Take a deep breath in and release. Deep breath in, expand in the belly, expand in the chest, expand in the sinuses, and release. And we're talking about the sense of sight today. So just for a very simple example, um, think about a day where you spent most of the day reading. Could have been on your device, could have been on a book. And at the end of the day, how your sight functioned. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and release so this is day two of retirement in the senses and we're talking about how your body has a tendency to shift um, when you have been doing the same thing for a long period of time and then you stop you retire whether it's retiring from the workforce you're retiring from that big job you're not doing anymore or you're switching things there is a time period where you actually have to decompress from what you have been doing and the shortcuts that you've been taking. So our goal here is energy to heal equals good energy in minus stressors. And how do you step out of the good energy in that is your job and the stressors that are your job? into retirement, which is good because you're not doing anything, but also stress because you're not doing anything. And so we're gonna talk about how the senses can help us get us through that. So yesterday we talked about the sense of hearing, and we talked about the fact that um, at, in retiring from a physician, whether it be from the bottom, when you were just, you know, where you were, where you were working at the bottom level, and you had always top-down information from the boss, from the, uh, middle manager, if you were at the middle management level, which meant that you were getting information from the people that you managed as well as people from top down or from the boss level where you were always getting this bottom up information, how does your hearing need to change? Well, today we're going to talk about the sense of sight and we're going to use a very, very simple example like the one we did in the breathing. So when you do a project for a long period of time and you use your visual system to do that project, when you back away from it, your visual system is kind of stuck in that mode. Just like after you've been reading all day, if you begin, if you get up and you look and you try to read something at a distance, you become nearsighted. Even if you weren't already, even if you weren't already, if you have been doing the task, so if you had 20-20 vision already and you read all day, and then I asked you to look up and see what the clock said 20, 30 feet away, it would be a little hard for your eyes to make that adjustment, especially as you get older. Um, so doing an activity for a long period of time, doing a visual activity for a long period of time makes your eyes see in, the, in that manner. And that can be bottom up as if we're reading because our eyes have adjusted to what is close to us. We adjust to that information and our lenses and the length of our, the depth of our eyeball sort of gets stuck in that one state. It can be bottom up, but it can also be top down because you can also be thinking visually in patterns. So there are some very, very fine detailed skills that go in to a lot of the jobs that we do. We can see things instantly. As a chiropractor, I watch people walk in from their car and walk to my office door. 
And as I watch them walk to the office door, I know how their hips are tilted. I know which knee hurts. I know where that's connected. I can see it's connected to a shoulder. I see those patterns every day. Those are the patterns my brain is top down keyed into. If you're, and I'm gonna bring this up because the example is, it's phenomenal. Um, if you are a chick sexer, now this sounds like a very bizarre job, but chicks are born with, both male and female chicks have everything inside of them. It is all one tube, you just gotta figure it out. And there is a way to see a slight difference when looking at the bottom of a chick. And there are people out there that sex chicks. They decide whether or not they're male or female. And they can do it instantaneously. It's like nothing. They just kind of flip the chick over, look at their bottom and go, yep, girl, boy, girl. Whereas you and I would look at a chicken's bottom and go, nope, no clue, nothing. Um, likewise, uh, I spent a summer putting onion rings into concentric circles and then sliding them to a box for frozen onion rings. And I saw the world in concentric circles, like what onion rings can I put in there so I can slide them in so that they can weigh the amount that they're supposed to weigh. So when you do a job for a long period of time, your top-down pattern recognition is really driven by that amount of learning and expertise that you have. And it is very hard to step back and unwind. Just like it's very hard if you've been reading all day and your eyeballs are squished and your lenses are stretched in one way and then all of a sudden you wanna look across the room and read the clock. That doesn't happen very easily. So in retirement, that decompression period that how am I going to recover from having done these stressors, which may not have been stressors, but they were just how you viewed the world visually. How am I gonna decompress from that so that I now see this bigger picture? Where else can I get good energy in from? And that is where you have to step outside your shell and say, okay, I have been seeing patterns this way. I recognize the physical body this way. Now that I've stepped back from that job, how else can I interpret the physical body? This is where education comes in. There's a strong pull for people who are in retirement to get additional education, not just so that they don't, so that they stop seeing the world in the one way that they saw it while they were employed, but also because in seeing it a different way, it activates a different part of their brain and gets them good energy in. So your visual system, looking out, looking away, we've talked about this when we're, look, when we're working with our devices, but your pattern recognition system, what other patterns can you turn your ability to create experience and expertise your ability to create expertise, what other way can you turn your visual systems pattern recognition software, for a better descriptor, into something useful for you so that you're not just recognizing the same patterns you did in your job? Maybe there's something else you could do. Maybe you could become a birder. Maybe you could sex chickens, uh, sex chicks. Who knows? <laughs> Um, so just ways to think about how to decompress from seeing the world in the same way. Just like we talked about yesterday, how to decompress from the bottom up, top down hearing system that we acquired while we were in our specific job. All right, let's finish this off. Take a deep breath in and release. Have a great day. Join me tomorrow for another sense.